apat lang yung kailangan na elements sa isang landing page. Actually, may formula na tayo dito. So, eto yung ibibigay ko sa inyo mamaya. May mga wrong spelling, oh. Natanggal yung ano, mga last letter. Um, anyways, yung ipapakita ko sa inyo, or mamaya ipapadownload ko sa inyo, yung um, framework na ginagamit namin. Yung tawag namin sa framework na yan is 4P framework. And the 4P, hindi yung 4P na nagbibigay ng pera sa, sa yung government na bibigay ng pera sa tao para pambili ng I don't know. Anyway, yung 4P na i-discuss natin it means promise, picture, proof, and then push. So, okay. Now, before before I go with, uh, to the next slide, pakita ko na lang sa inyo yung 4P. No? This one, um, ito yung itsura niya. Mamaya, madadownload niyo to. Uh, as you can see, meron nang nakalagay kung ano yung parang layout niya. Okay? Meron din nakalagay kung ano yung mga elements niyo. And then guys, meron din discovery questions. Ito yung, ano, ito yung pwede yung gamitin question para kayo na lang yung gumawa ng sales copy dito. Ano yung gagawin nyo lang talaga is when you ask questions to the client, like etong mga questions na to, yung answer nila, i-rephrase nyo lang and then ilalagay nyo dito sa landing page. And nagawa mo na yung copy and then nagawa mo pa yung landing page. And yung matindi pa din guys is sometimes you can charge clients um, differently. Like kung mag-charge ka for landing page building, that's entirely different when you would also offer copy. So yung copy nagiging upsell na. So ito yung questions na itatanong nyo sa kanila once they agree or become interested to work with you. So mamaya, I'll give you the download link. Okay? Um, proceed na tayo. Um, landing page plus copy, how much standard cost? Um, yung sa amin, $750 to $1,000, including copy. Okay? That's, that's, for the, ano ba, uh, that's for the sales page, by the way. But for the opt-in page, it's just going to be around $500. You would include the copy and then also building of landing page. And asking the questions sa client through voice call ba or through chat or depende? Um, depende. Sagutin ko na lang to, pero I'll, I'll actually teach you this technique. Um, yung ginagawa ko is say for example si client uh, yung nangyari is naging interested siya sa audit mo like sinabi niya na the audit looks good blah blah yung next na gagawin ko is magtatanong ako instead of saying can we hop on a call hindi ko gagawin yan kasi hindi din ako sure kung okay sa kanila yung call ba diba? so dapat sensitive din tayo okay so yung ginagawa ko is ganito what would be the Uh, what would be your preferred chan channel for us to talk? Is it through a call or we can do, you know, just messaging or chat on Messenger? And most of them would say Messenger and some of them would say call. Now, why did I ask kung ano yung preferred channel nila? Actually, major persuasion yan, um, sales. When you ask them questions first na parang pinapafeel mo sila na sila yung may control sa conversation, Once you ask them for the ano for for working with you, mas magyayas sila kasi nga madami yung process mo, madami yung questions mo na palagi silang nagyayas or sumasagot sila ng konting small talk. So yun yung reason why we are asking them. We um we want to be sensitive enough na para mafeel nila na we are not there to sell them anything. We are there to become their partner, which is why we respect them. We respect them kung ano yung uh, preferred channel nila. Okay, so yun, it can be via call, but most of the time, based on my experience, via chat lang. Um, dun ba sa free download, andun din yung framework po for opt-in page, etc. Sa ano, hindi siya nakalagay dun, kasi yung 4P framework, actually if you would study the 4P framework, it can be applied to any other page. Like kung ma-study mo siya, like, like pabalik-balik mong babasahin yung discovery questions. And then, pabalik-balik mong titingnan yung layout. Sa current ngayon, it's for a long-form sales page. Kumbaga, sales page lang siya. Pero that doesn't mean it cannot be applied sa ibang pages. Because it can. Yung, yung gagawin lang dyan is medyo matinding, ano, matinding study. Which is siguro dahil nga na tanong na to, like madaming beses na, I'd probably try to create a live training inside the group para i-explain yung 4P kung paano i-apply talaga. 
like how I use it, how I look at it, parang ganun, yung rationalization na part. So, yun. Sir, can you show us example of your build? Um, yes, sige, papakita ko na lang sa'yo ngayon. Alright, eto siya. Um, as you can see, and dito yung above the fold, meron ditong social proof. Um, eto muna, above the fold, yung my header. Just like this one. My header. And then call to action, header, call to action. Then, yung next is proof. Merong social proof. As you can see, meron din dito. Then, eto na yung ano, yung mga benefits. As you can see, meron din de, dito before state, after state. Dito. And then, meron na namang testimonial, which is here as well. Kasi etong iba, wala namang silbi to. Not necessarily na kailangan yan. Pero eto, may customer review tayo. And then, final call to action. So, yeah. And then yung footer, guys, as you can see, terms of use lang, privacy policy, and then ka, uh, trademark and all. So, that's an example of 4P framework. And also, if you would also notice here, if pumunta kayo sa Stripe, actually, in a form sila ng website ngayon, pero the way they structure their, their design is um, nagpa-follow ng 4P framework. As you can see, mayroon din dito yung social badge. And then, meron din mga benefits and all. Yung mga ganun. Dito, meron din explanation. Then, there. Merong ano, final call to action. Then, meron din silang stats dito. So, yung ginawa nila is form of testimonial. And Zapier is also using that. Even PayPal is using that. Yung 4P framework. Um, yes, uh, we actually did tons of research kung ano yung nag-work. And so far, that specific arrangement ng, ng, ano, ng sections, yun yung nag-work to increase the conversion. Dito, punta tayo sa Zapier. Now guys, ano yung ano? Like Zapier, yung headline niya is Connect Your Apps and Automate Workflows. Ano yung offer ni, ni Zapier? So guys, as you can see, if you don't know integration or automation, for uh, wouldn't you agree na yung Integromat doesn't really answer the what's in it for me? na question or what's in it for them. Like, kung i -ro play natin, what does Integromat, would, uh, what would Integromat do for me? What's in it for me if I use Integromat? Well, Integromat is the glue of the internet. Di ba, hindi nagme-make sense? As compared to Zapier, wherein, what's in it for me if I use Zapier? Well, you can connect your apps and automate workflows. And mind you guys, uh, these two, mag-competitor sila. These two can do the same thing. Pero, mas clear si Zapier as compared to Integromat. Yun yung meaning ko when we say na pag sa promise, it's very, very, very important to answer this one question. What's in it for them? So you can see, sa Zapier, sobrang simple ng headline niya. And si Integromat, masyadong naging jargon monster na yung nangyari, na-confuse yung hindi marunong mag-automate or yung newbie, kung, baga, kung hindi developer. So yun yung promise na part. You have to nail it down. So, jan palang guys, you can audit a business. Jan palang sa promise. Pag hindi yan clear automatically, like, uh, do you have any idea on how we can improve this? It's not clear. Parang ganun. Um, Picture. Sa picture naman guys, yung goal dito is to educate the end user on what your product. Now, when we say educate, pinapakita mo yung mga benefits. Okay. Sa picture. Now, I cannot give you the picture kasi hindi ako copywriter. Pero you can, you can, ano, compare Integromat and then Zapier kung paano sinulat yung copy ng Zapier as compared to Integromat. Kasi they are the same thing, pero confusing yung copy ni in Integromat as compared to Zapier. And then you would know na yung flow ni, ni Zapier is much better in terms of um, picture, okay? And then next is proof. It's very, very easy. Um, maglalagay ka lang ng stats. Ilan na yung users ng platform, ilan na yung, like, si, sila sinong mga brand yung gumagamit ng app, ano yung mga sabi ng mga users, like testimonials, yan yung proof. Like, yung may mga video, di ba? Tapos yung last, yung push, this is very, very easy. Yan yung call to action, yung button or maybe a form. Okay. So, yun. Tapos na tayo. Yan lang yung four critical elements ng isang landing page. Now, guys, ang pinakamatindi pa dyan is 
isa lang yung kailangan yung inail down. Actually, dalawa na lang, okay? Dalawa lang yung kailangan yung inail down. Yung promise and then yung push. Kasi kung dito, like for example, example lang, no? Like si Zapier, ilalagay mo, connect your apps and automate workflows. Tapos as ang nakalagay dito, download an ebook now. Di ba? Parang, ano yun? Confusing. Di ba? So, dito pa lang guys, you'd have to be clear kung ano yung gusto mong gawin ng isang tao. So, dito sa Zapier, they are very, very clear that they want you to sign up. Kaya, tingnan nyo yung button dito. Ang dami ka agad. Like, pagbukas ng pagbukas mo ng page, yun, nakita mo na yung sign up. And then, eto yung benefit nila or yung promise nila. Alright? So, yun. Dalawa lang, um, promise and then push. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you found value in my video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also, make sure to hit that notification bell para you will be updated and notified kung may bago akong video na upload on my channel. So, yun lang guys. Thank you so much and see you in my next video. Bye guys!